Welcome to this Windows and Computer and Technology channel. And this is a quick uh, questions and answer video for people that have sent me uh, quite a few questions today regarding my uh, video on the availability of 21H1 in Windows 10. So first of all, yes, 21H1 has been out since May of this year. So it's not a new update. It's an update that is been pushed to Windows 10 users at a certain pace, slow at the beginning, a little faster. It is part of a uh, quite a, a big chunk of people are on 21H1 right now, but there's still a lot of people on older versions, uh, 20H2 and version 2004. Um, so when you saw the video, some people said, well, it's already available. I don't know why you're talking about it, talking about it because it was not available for everybody. Uh, today it is, and pretty much everyone should see it. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, said, well, I see it, but it's an optional update. I don't get it. Well, it is because all the feature updates, 21H1 and 21H2 coming up in a few weeks, are always feature updates that are optional until your Windows version is actually uh, at the end of support. Then you are forced into a version of Windows. But as long as your version is supported, you are not being pushed to a new um, version of a feature update. This is just, um, you know, to let you do it when you want or, you know, decide when you want to install it or not. Um, 21H1, what what's new in there? A lot of people are asking anything new that I can see. Uh, Windows Hello multi-camera support is pretty much what there is in there. Uh, for the rest, it's in more advanced versions like the Pro version and so on. And Enterprise that has a Windows Defender application guard performance and the uh, WMI group policy performance. Uh, there is a Windows update difference. The um, Windows update stack and Windows update uh, kind of have a merged update so that instead of having separate updates, they're merged together. That's pretty much it. There were a few features that were supposed to go to 21H1 that have not made it, and they will be in actually 21H2 coming up in a few weeks. And it's the uh, secure DNS over HTTPS, which will be on 21H2. Some of you has asked me why you're on 21H2 when I talk about 21H1. That's because you're in the Windows Insider program. If you look at your settings in Windows Updates, um, and if you look at the Windows Insider program on the bottom left, uh, you have two choices. If you're not an insider, you will actually just see Get Started button. But if you're an insider, you'll see that you're on Release Preview, which is the Windows 10, only Windows 10 um, uh, channel left. So only Release Preview has Windows 10 um, updates. So that means if you are on the Windows Insider program, you're at 21H2. Typically, a lot of people that were on Windows 11 and got dropped back down to Windows 10 were dropped back to Windows 10 testing 21H2, which is coming out in a few weeks. So that's why you see 21H2 on your machine. That's because you're a release preview insider. Um, performance wise, Nothing should change. It's such a small update that doesn't do much. It just turns on features that, for the most part, were probably already in Windows 10, 20H2, and 21, uh, in, in version 2004, but that are kind of just switched on through this little update, which is very small, honestly. So nothing major in here, that is for sure. Uh, people telling me, should I install it? I personally think you should be at the latest update uh, because it's such a small update and it's been out now since May. So it's really a fairly safe update. And, you know, it brings you up to the latest Windows 10 version right now. Um, visually, a lot of people will I see something different. Well, I no, you're going to see a Windows 10 like you had it, like it worked. Nothing different. You're not going to be lost. And it's not going to take a lot of time to install for most people. Uh, typically on a very fast computer, it's just, you know, a question of five, 10 minutes. 
on an older machine it could take up to half an hour an hour but um, you know in general it shouldn't be very long this is not a big feature update where it reinstalls everything so no worries about that and uh, so you know it's going to prepare yourself and like I said if you install it um, what's going to happen is you'll be able to stay at 21H1 until next year at the end of next year so if you install it now you have a good year that you don't have to install any updates if you don't want to before you'll be forced to do so because of the 18 month cycle and last but not least a lot of you are asking me should i install this or wait for 21 h2 it doesn't really matter um, i would just install it and that will give you the possibility of waiting uh, 21 h2 being a new update just in case something would go wrong that will give you the flexibility to just wait and not install 21 h2 right away and get there when it is available and when you decide you want to move on to 21 h2 and so on as for next year we don't know what's going to happen we have no news of any feature updates anything and uh, that What's going to be interesting here is the 18 month cycle that we're living through right now. That cannot stay at 18 months if there's no feature updates. At some point, Microsoft's going to have to say, okay, here you go. This is, you know, what you have. And now you're in long term support until 2025. Because um, we know that Windows 10 will be supported until the end of 2025. So, you know, small updates, nothing major, and um, I think you should install it, yes, uh, especially since it's been tested and running on machines since, um, you know, May. And the reason why a lot of people also don't have it is because a lot of people didn't even realize it was probably there in Windows Update as an optional update. So these are the questions uh, that I wanted to answer about Windows 10 21H1. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.